So we're entering now into this world of Surat Al-Najm. Surat Al-Najm, for me, it was very special. Amazing. Oh my God, it's just mind-blowing. It was uh, fascinating. It gave me a three-dimensional view of Quran. Uh, like I have never read Quran before. I was like, in awe of appreciation of the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It made me think a lot and it was amazing. Join Ustad Nur Aman as he takes you on a journey throughout this powerful surah. This Ramadan, we're sharing exclusive Bayina TV content from a deeper look of Surat An Najm on our YouTube channel. You guys with me so far? Now we get to the juicy part. Our free downloadable workbook will help you reflect on the key themes of the surah as you study. The beginning, the intro, Surah Al Najm, it's talking about stars. We dove so deep into like stars and the past, the universe, the stars and the planets, the um, constellation of the stars. It, this is one of the most incredible depictions in brief language of so many celestial phenomena, so many things in the sky that are happening, all captured in just one Najmi Ida Hawa. When the Prophet I looked at the note tree and I was able to learn that there are secrets between him and Allah that no one else knows. That was also an amazing thing to learn. Quran is saying something covered it. So did Allah want to tell us what he saw? No, Allah wanted to tell us there's a secret between Allah and his Prophet. As someone who hadn't touched the Quran for some time, it was definitely like a push forward to start like studying on my own much more actively. And it's the fact that there's so much imagery in the Quran. But Rasulullah sees the tree in a distance and sees all of Jannah around it in a distance like it's just a house or just a little yard. Man, what is this? What is this place where all of existence is puny? He's close to the Arsh of Allah, isn't he? Subscribe now to the Bayana YouTube channel to catch this series and more great content that's being released this Ramadan.